me Jocelyn. So today I'm going to be discussing A Light Motion's new 4.0 update. And yeah, let's just get started. So first things first, when you go to the homepage of A Light Motion, like right when you open up the app, you're going to see the announcement for the new update 4.0. Now it comes with lots of new um, features. So let me just explain them to you. Camera object, animate the point of view within your scene to create dynamic motion. That's one of the new features. Secondly, layer parenting. Link and choreograph layers for sophisticated movement and advanced transformations. And the third new feature is view options. Zoom in for precise editing, isolate individual layers, and customize your view. Now, luckily, I was able to be a beta tester for this specific version of Alight Motion. And let me tell you, it is amazing. Um, it's definitely a lot more helpful. And like, I don't know, I'll just show you. So, I have a photo ready right here. Just a new project ready. And... First things first, what I love about this is you can just hold down right here with your two fingers and zoom out your project. It will not zoom out your photo, it just zooms out your project. So you can zoom in if you need really precise, like, editing. Like, if you have to, like, mask a person or something, it's great for zooming in. But it's also great for zooming out if you want to see the final effect of something or how it ends up looking. Like, if you make borders, that'll definitely be useful and it will come in handy. Now... The one that's not really discussed a lot, but I personally find super helpful, is that once you go to your media right here, you can select multiple photos at once. So, and I'm sure you could do this before, but this is just what I notice now. You can hold down on whatever you want, and you can select as many of those as you want. Now, I'm just using random edits right here. I'm not actually going to add these in, but still. And then if you want to add them in, you can add them in when they're all on top of each other or separated. So that's my favorite part of this. I didn't mean to add them in. Just give me one second. And now this right here, this little thing right here, it gives you so many options. This is like, to st I'm not too sure what this does. I think this is, uh, anyway, <laughs> this gives you a grid on your photo. So if you're doing really precise editing, it'll like animations it will definitely come in handy now you can select the amount of squares you would like on the grid and you could zoom it in a ton if you want if you need just like certain squares i really love this feature this is great if you're doing it for like a school project or if you're doing a really like advanced precise edit and i'm gonna go ahead and turn these off real quick so i can just zoom out my photo and let's just get started into the new effects now as you can see, once you go to the effects category, um, I'm used to this, so it doesn't really look new to me, but they have a whole new layout, which I think they might have had this layout before. I'm not too sure, so I'm like kind of used to it. Uh, but as you can see, they have all the regular categories. I really like that they have color and light at the very top because that's honestly my most used one. And distortion and warp is right there at the top as well. So it definitely comes in handy because I feel like that's one of the most used like categories if you're making a fan edit or something on A-Light Motion. Now, go to Move and Transform. One of their new um, effects is Raster Transform. Now, you can just, you can do your own keyframes on this if you want. But you can also do Alight Motion's pre-made keyframes on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do Burst. I'm going to show you what they all look like. So it'll end up looking like this. As you can see, this is giving me very much After Effects vibes. Just like, I love it so much. I don't know. I love how this is pre-made for you. This will definitely be great in like a badass type edit or even like a scary type edit. Like if you're doing like a scary movie edit, this would be perfect. We're going to do Ghost Pop. So this is what it'll end up looking like. Just like this. Like, are you serious? <laughs> I'm sorry. I really like these. So, like, I have a strong, like, affection for them. Now, the other um, preset for it is left up, r left right up. So, as you can see, it kind of it's kind of like a fade through. Like, if you added this onto three different pictures, do you know how easy that would be? It basically does the um, transition for you. Now, the last preset is going to be wobble in place. Now this right here, delete of the scale keyframes, this would make a great panning, like a panning preset. If you don't know what panning is, it basically just slightly rotates your edit and it gives it more of a look to it. And as you can see, you could also adjust the angle so it's not moving so much, just very slightly. And yeah. So now let me go ahead and check the other effect that I missed. They also added null objects, preview pan and zoom and all of these right here they um a couple of new effects that i'm not going to go over are just parenting helper and scale assist and there's also significance performance improvements which i'm going to assume means the app is not going to lag nearly as much as it does when you use it like 
right now. Um, also, a lot of people have been asking me, how do you get your Alien Motion to not lag? It's because I'm doing a tutorial. When I'm making a real edit on there, let me tell you, it is so laggy, like I can barely even use it. So, but hopefully that's fixed in this new update. So we're just going to go over a couple other things real quick. When you go to this little plus right here, you can go to object and you can add in a camera object, a null object, or an empty group. So an empty group is kind of what I would think is like an adjustment layer on After Effects. You add your um, effects to it and it affects the photo underneath it. Now, when you add on a null object, this is really helpful because you can add effects on it and you can basically do multiple transitions within one group. So it's like really useful. Like if you have three photos and you wanna do like a slide up for the three photos, you're just gonna go ahead and do that on the keyframes. I think it's really nice and it's very convenient. So yeah, and that's basically it. This is Alight Motion's new 4.0 update. If you would like a little bit more in depth, I'm sure Alight Motion has videos on their YouTube channel, or you can even just read through their details about the new 4.0 update. I hope this video was helpful to you guys, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below any tutorial requests you guys might have. My next video will definitely be answering frequently asked questions about editing in general, just because I have so many people that ask the same questions, so I thought, why not kick it all out in one video? And yeah, um, this is some of the information about um, the new update. If you want to read it, just go ahead, open up Alien Motion, and hit Detailed Release Notes. And that's pretty much it. I love you guys. Bye!